Welcome again to this EMS video series. Lessons learned from permanent magnet linear simulation. A permanent magnet linear generator is simply a generator made up of a stator, translator, and air gap. The stator is usually made up of copper windings and laminations which aim at minimizing the eddy current losses. The translator consists of permanent magnets that can be either rings, cylinders, or rectangles and made of rare earth material. Depending on the required force and the air gap magnetic field, the magnets can be arranged radially, axially, or in Halbach fashion. Numerous research papers have reported that the permanent magnet linear generator has several distinct advantages including high efficiency, small air gap, and a small size. In addition, Permanent magnet linear generator is environmentally friendly as it emits no CO2 and consumes no fossil fuel. However, there are several challenges and hurdles that must be overcome including demagnetization of the permanent magnets due to temperature rise, high cogging force which can produce noise and vibration, and the high cost of the rare earth magnets. Since EMS is an add-in to SOLIDWORKS, the number one 3D CAD software. The creation and modification of the geometry is as easy as a pie. We have the results for six studies. In studies one to three, we kept the speed constant but changed the steel of the translator and stator. The steel for studies one, two, and three are steel 1010, silicon iron, and some alloy respectively. In studies 4 and 5, we kept the material some alloy the same but changed the speed of the translator. Let's now compare the results from different studies. From the root of the tree, choose compare results motion studies magnetostatic. Uncheck all studies except the first three. Click on the 5 force component and click add in the parameters field. Click on pop up plot. The plot of 5 versus time appears. Upon zooming, you can see that the maximum cogging force is around 1358, 1322, and 1222 for the silicon iron, steel 1010, and some alloy respectively. Follow the same steps to compare the back EMF. Unfortunately, the Somaloi has the smallest back EMF while the silicon iron has the largest. It is a trade-off as you can see. We can also check the effect of the speed of the translator on the back EMF. Check only the Somaloi studies. Click on back EMF and click add in the parameters field. Click on pop up plot. The plot of the back EMF versus time appears for the three studies appear. By the way, Somaloi study has a speed of 2 meter per second. Somaloi speed 2 study has a speed of 3 meter per second. Somaloi Speed 3 study has a speed of 4 m per second. From the plot, the maximum back EMF is around 93, 109, and 120 volts for speeds 2, 3, and 4, respectively. Clearly, the higher the speed the higher is the back EMF. We can also compare the effect of the magnetization direction. All of the six studies have an axial magnetization along Y except the radial coercivity direction study has a radial magnetization direction, of course alternating between plus rho and minus rho. We can again compare the cogging force and back EMF. Following the same procedure. We can see that the cogging force is much smaller for the radial coercivity. 
However the back EMF is also smaller. Again it is a trade-off. Let's now conclude. The cogging force depends on the steel of the translator and the stator, the magnets and their coercivity direction. And so does the back EMF. In all of the studies we neglected the eddy current due to motion because the speed chosen is relatively low. Otherwise, eddy current must be taken into consideration. If and when the eddy current is included, the steel would heat up resulting in a temperature rise in the magnets which can potentially demagnetize them. The permanent magnet linear generator is an excellent candidate for power generation in ocean using the motion caused by the waves. Even though we did not study the effect of the air gap, but we expect that the smaller the air gap the higher is the back EMF and the cogging force. Hence the trade-off between cogging and power generated must be carefully studied. The arrangement of the magnets is equally important in reducing the leakage flux and improve the flux linkage. Although the generator produces AC voltage and current, the frequency and amplitude of the voltage changes with the speed and this make it essential to use power electronic converters to maximize the power utilization. It is worthwhile to mention that even with a constant speed, the magnitude of induced voltage will not be constant. Therefore, power converter efficiency should be considered for determination of efficiency of the whole system. A tool like EMS is indispensable to design and optimize a permanent magnet linear generator.